As you can see, I'm still in the bunker, but now I haven't got a flat lie, I've got an uphill lie one that I've particularly found difficult, and I know I'm not the only one. Uh, early days, I would try and lean on my front foot and dig the ball out. It didn't work very well for me. We referenced Bernhard Langer, a Masters champion, just a few seconds ago. Uh, this one I learned from Tom Watson, a second Masters champion, and many other tournaments too. And Tom explained to me that when you're on uphill lie, you have to have the spine more or less match the slope. Now for me that means on an uphill lie I've got to have the spine leaning back, uh, my shoulders are pretty much matching the slope, probably my trail shoulders a touch lower and I definitely feel a good amount of weight on my trailing foot and the intent here is to hit up the slope. Now things that are important, you would not want to use your most lofted club here because of course the moment if I show you with my 60 Look at the effective loft on that club, and if I exaggerate a little bit, as I put some upslope in there, you can see that would add a lot of loft to the club. So when you're on an uphill lie, you do not take your most lofted club. Even though I'm going to go to the short pin here, I'm actually going to take my 56. I'm going to need this 60 in a moment. But the uphill lie, I'm going to get the spine to match the slope. I'm going to feel my weights on the back foot. I'm going to be swinging up the slope and that should just pop it out. As I say, for me, it's not an easy one. I don't have to open up too much here and I'm just going to take a swing and try and pop this up the slope. And I would be, oh, you dirty rascal!